guys welcome back to my channel or if you're new welcome my name is Monica I try to put out beauty and makeup related videos every Monday and Friday this video is really exciting for me it is my very first project pan that I am putting up on this YouTube channel and it is a pan that palette for 2018 I chose the Marc Jacobs iconic what is this the Marc Jacobs style icon number no. seven in the color Lolita this is what the palette looks like we have three mattes over here. This one is a pretty glittery shade. I will have swatches a little bit later on. Um, this one is a satin, and then these two are metallics. Um, like I said before, my goal is just to hit pan in every shadow, but if I could use this up completely by the end of 2018, I would be ecstatic. And I Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today, it's a very special day because I actually just completely finished my Pen That Palette project for 2018. I'm shocked that I'd not only hit my goal, my original goal for this palette was just to hit pan in every shade, but I completely used up the palette. This being my first ever Pen That Palette, I am so excited and I've learned a lot through this process. So before I get more into that, don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like this project pan project. Don't forget to check out the playlist of all of my updates up until this finale. I'll throw that up in the cards if you're interested. And if you have any you'd like to, I really hope you would consider subscribing and hit that little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video every single Monday through Friday. And also I know um, YouTube is having issues with <laughs> notifications, so I do have Twitter. I'm getting better at using it, so if you follow me there, I'll always post whenever I'm about to go live, whenever a new video is about to go up, but for the most part, my videos go up Monday through Friday at 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is so satisfying to look at. Dude, it's empty. Gone. Let's go ahead and roll that slideshow for this palette one last time. my last update for this palette I had an emergency update because the brown shade at the very end of the palette had totally crumbled and I was using that in my brows in my hairline liner everything I could but I could no longer hold the palette up because it was crumbling and then the last shade I had left was my Franken shadow of the really glittery kind of glitter bomb shade and the lightest light brown shade so that was the last shade that I had left I used that as a face highlight for the remainder of that shadow, and I have a completely clean palette. Oh, I'm so proud of myself. I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and say that. I am really proud that I started in January. I started this project, my very first pan project, and actually followed through with it. And I learned a lot. So I think the biggest thing that I've learned is that you can make your own rules when it comes to panning your makeup. And I mean, that sounds a little bit silly, but what I mean is that for the longest time, I didn't want to like create Franken shadows because for some reason I thought like that would be cheating because you're not using the shadows as they are in the pan. Like panning doesn't mean you have to use the shadows in the way they're laid out, the way that they're meant to be used. And I think that's the best thing I could have gotten out of this project is just 
as someone who loves makeup, just finding different ways to use makeup, finding different avenues to go about and bring out more creativity, I just, uh, I really appreciated that and I had a lot of fun with this project, even though it was a fairly neutral, oh, let's not blind you guys, even though it was a fairly neutral palette, I thought that would be a great place to start because I thought it'd be a little bit easier to pan. If anything, a part of the project was also trying not to get bored with it, since it is a year-long project. So there were some, you know, weeks where I didn't want to pick this up, but I did. I, I picked myself up after those ruts because it is such a long-term project, and I think having a long-term project like this is, well, really good for me because it is a year long. So if you have a couple of weeks or even a month where you're just not feeling it and you're in a rut and it's not going well, you still got a long time. It's that year end rut or the middle of the year rut that I hit because there was like a month where like I never wanted to touch this. But I still came through and I still finished the palette. So I think those were the best things that I could have learned from this. I'm really glad that I did this project, not only for the panning aspect of it, but also for documenting the first full year of my channel. If you go back and watch that first video, the lighting is garbage, uh, <laughs> the camera quality is not the best, just the audio isn't that great. It's seeing this playlist is not only seeing me learn about makeup and learn about eyeshadow and learn about my preferences, it's also seeing me learn editing and learn YouTube a little bit better. And I'm just really glad that I was able to document that process too. I'm not gonna recycle this. This is gonna go right onto my like dresser and <laughs> vanity. And I'm probably gonna keep it for forever for sentimental reasons, just because it's the first full palette that I've ever panned. So thank you, Marc Jacobs, for coming out with a really great eyeshadow palette. And thank you, Marshalls, for stocking it. And I was able to get this for $19.99. Lasted me a full year of use. I have decided I want to wait until the new year to post my next Pan That palette. There will be another one next year just because I enjoyed this project so much. I really can't wait to do the next one. So I'm actually wearing some of the shades on my eyes today. Not the glitter shade, but the mattes did come from that palette. So I'm going to film that intro towards the end of December and my new Pan That palette intro will be up probably the first week of January. I'm gonna see if I can post it just like New Year's Day because I think that'd be really fun. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to all of my friends and subscribers that have been there since the beginning and I've been commenting on like every month's update and been giving me advice. And I seriously couldn't have done it without you guys because it's a long process. And documenting it, while mostly it is for me, it was also for me to connect with the community. And I feel that it's really helped me connect with other makeup lovers and other panners and I know of quite a few people, quite a few subscribers have found me through my Pan That palette and I'm just so grateful that there is this community out there and that we can connect over our love of makeup and our love of using up makeup. So thank you again for watching. I'm so excited for the new year of panning possibilities and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye! Thank you.